What is that label day? That's a very good question because everyone asks me the same thing. Um, I tell them that it's sort of an online version of record store day where there's an awful lot of music that gets released that day under Creative Commons or other free licenses. And uh, I refer to it sort of as the anti-Spotify, you know, an attempt to get people back to listening to music that they control and that more importantly that they can share and discover for themselves and, and encourage other people to discover. It's been going since 2015. I came in at the tail end of that as a as a listener. Um, 2016 things got really, really big for it where there were a lot more <coughs> live broadcasts and podcasts that go along with it. But that's when everybody kind of took notice of it and it ballooned a little bit. And of course, the pandemic made it uh, deflate a little bit. What are you hoping to achieve this year? But I want to make sure that we get back to some live broadcasts, a little bit of <coughs> a little bit of a concert going, perhaps even live stream concerts and things like that that hold the event together. And then next year, um, I will probably pull out the stops a bit on the organ. That is how I envision it. Whether or not it will actually play out that way is another story. My ideal situation would be we'd start at the international dateline in Auckland, yeah. Wellington, New Zealand time, and then we have something that continues to pass on all the way through the other side of the IDL at uh, Alaska, Hawaii, or you know the Cook Islands, if you're that far out. One of the things that I've been encountering as I talk to people who used to be involved in Net Label Day and haven't been for three, four years, they were insisting, well, Net Label Day doesn't really matter anymore because big studios release things online now and net labels release physical media so the lines are very blurry and I thought if we're going to take that seriously then what we have to do is redefine net label day to be completely distinct in that sense from the studios and cons and I think concentrating on the creative commons license and sharing is absolutely the key to that well share music is the first one Okay. Uh, that's the most important thing in the world. Uh, you know, you and can label it as, as shared music to do with precisely the day 2021, 22. Or that. Um, okay. Yeah, it's it's back to uh, you know, Tim O'Reilly's thing that the artist these days has more to fear from obscure, obscurity than he does from piracy. Net Label Day is not about not getting artists paid. The Creative Commons is not about not getting artists paid. The Creative Commons is not there to tell you that you don't have the right to earn a living. Yeah. Cool. Okay, great. Well, thank you very much for your time, Omar. We are aiming for July the 14th. Thank you very for much you. for your time. All right.